So we've just come up to the rooftop and we've been watching the sunset which has been absolutely beautiful. So we've just made the sauce and it's a moho sauce so it's a traditional sauce made with peppers and garlic, olive oil, lots of lovely things and it tastes really good. We're eating it with um, traditional Canarian potatoes which are like salted potatoes with the skin on and the main attraction of the park is Mount Taylor which is just behind me here which is a volcano you can get a cable car up there um, but it does close during strong wind so I'm not sure if it's running today hi everyone and welcome to our channel we are Hannah and Johnny also known as finding our adventure in 2020 we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody from Tenerife. We have woken up at the Ibero Star Hotel, which is where we're going to be staying for the next four nights. We're actually working with them to create some photography content and video content as well. So we're very excited to be here this morning. We have got a yoga class, which I'm sure will be the perfect way to start the day. And yeah, really excited to get some winter sun. just finished our yoga class which was really good the sun's come out so it's getting quite warm now but um, yeah it was a great way to start the day had a few birds flying over I feel very relaxed and I'm ready for a nice cold drink now so we've just come back to our room after a lovely yoga session and we thought as per usual we'll give you a lovely quick room tour of where we're staying so at the moment we're staying at the Ibero Star Sabi Sabilla <laughs> do that again we are staying at Ibero Star Sibylla and it is a five-star all-inclusive hotel on the south coast of Tenerife and this stretch is very sheltered so it's got beautiful beaches and there's not much wind here which is really nice and perfect for sunbathing. We have got Star Prestige which is basically like access to exclusive areas around the hotel which we will also show you a little bit more of that later on but we have um, exclusive areas as well for like dining so there's more seating areas there's like a rooftop pool and um, yeah so you don't have to worry about food the food so far has been very good and uh, yeah let's get on with the room tour so we are staying on the top floor which is floor six and this floor is exclusive to Star Prestige guests only. We're staying in a suite, which is quite a big room. There's lots and lots of space. So the area that I'm standing in at the moment is the lounge area. Got a lovely sofa just here, huge TV, and there is tons of storage in this room. We've also got a mini bar just in here, which everything in there is all included in your stay. You've got tea and coffee, um, a coffee maker just over here on the table. And yeah, I mean, look how big this room is. <laughs> and you've got lots of storage here, you've got a safe, and uh, you've basically got his and hers wardrobes. You've got loads of drawer space and hanging space. There's also an iron and an iron board as well, so you don't have to worry about creased clothes. And then just coming off of the lounge, we have this huge bathroom. We've got a toilet just behind here and then we have got a huge double shower which has got I don't know what these are called but it's got you've got like handheld shower bits and then you've also got massive rainfall showers as well 
And next door to the bathroom, we have got our bedroom, which has also got a huge wardrobe space for all of your clothes to be hidden away. And then we've got this lovely kind of neutral, airy bedroom. And opposite the bed, we've got a TV to enjoy. We've also got these nice blankets if you're feeling a bit cold. And um, there's a bit of a bird's nest theme in this room. There's a few like shades and a few bird um, things scattered across the room. And then opposite the bedroom and the living area, you've got access to your very own private balcony. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so the really cool thing about this room is that you have got a huge balcony area, You've got some seats and also a place to hang up your swimming stuff after a day out. And you've got mountain views just behind me here. The sunrise this morning was beautiful. The mountains were completely all glowy and lovely. And then just on this side, I've got a view of the ocean. So one of the things that you get with Star Prestige as well is that the 6th and 5th floors aren't shown until you put your card here on the lifts and then it shows you the Prestige floors there which is pretty cool. So we've also got our very own pool which is on the rooftop and it's got incredible views of the ocean. the Star Prestige areas you also get access to all of these drinks they make sandwiches as well we've got fruit yogurt and there's also some pastries just around there so we've just taken some very nice photos in the room and we've decided to come out of the hotel and do a little bit of exploring there's direct beach access just from the hotel so there's like a gate so you don't have to walk all the way out of the hotel and go down the path there's like a nice little walkway and um, we're just gonna go down and see what the beach is like now we've just made it down to the beach and one thing you notice here on Tenerife that most of the beaches are volcanic sand so they're a much darker in color but it's very nice and relaxing down here we've got lovely weather today um, apparently it's not been as nice as it is at the moment so I'm gonna go make the most of it and I think we might go and walk back there's like a harbor on the other side so yeah, it's just nice morning exploring. And one of the cool things about staying at Iberista is that they provide you with a lovely, generous sized beach bag. So I've just chucked everything in there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we've just come back from our beach walk and we worked up quite a sweat. So we've come down to the pool area and there is a prestige exclusive part of the pool and there are drinks and we've got a nice fresh drink which is really nice after that walk and then in a minute we're going to go and get some lunch so we've just come down for lunch and it's like a buffet style so they have things that are freshly cooked and you can order it as well but i've got like a mixture of healthy and not healthy so i've got <laughs> pizza and a salad and also taco So after lunch we've headed back to the spot we were at earlier because we liked it so much and it's really comfortable it's got like all these nice cushions and there's a little bit of shade from the sun and I've just been going in and out of the pool and uh, we've got unlimited drinks as well I've just got like water and lemon which is very nice and refreshing but yeah I think we're just gonna sit and chill here I think for the rest of the afternoon and just make the most of the sun just come up to the rooftop and we've been watching the sunset which has been absolutely beautiful we've been very lucky with our weather on the first day here in Tenerife and now we're gonna head to the gym for a bit and show you around what the facilities are like in there and then after that we're gonna head to dinner so we've just finished in the gym we both did a five kilometer run and we've definitely worked up an appetite now and we're gonna head to dinner so we have just come down for dinner and there are loads of options this evening we've gone with um, 
steak and also some uh, Asian dishes and potatoes, very neat heavy this evening, and also some salmon and guacamole. But I think I'll be up after this to get some nice refreshing salad. Good morning everybody. So we have got up this morning, we had breakfast and we decided to leave the hotel to explore a little bit more of the island. We've woken up and driven a little bit further along the south coast. We've gone a bit east from the hotel and we've just arrived at our first spot. It's a little bit windy today. <laughs> There's some strong gusts of wind and we have just made it to um, Tajeo Arch, which is just behind me here. It looks like something out of uh, like a desert. It's a really, really cool arch. It reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Moab in Utah. It's like Arches National Park where they've got lots of arches. So yeah, this is just behind me here. We're going to explore and show you it a little bit closer up. So this bit just behind me here, it's almost like a wave. It's eroded inside and then kind of comes up over, which is crazy how cool it is. And I just walked over the top as well. And you can see there's kind of like cracks in the middle. So yeah, I didn't stay for, on that for very long. taking photos because the contrast of the rock against the blue sky is really nice and uh, yeah it's just really fun despite the strong winds almost getting blown away but having a really good time now it feels like we're in a cave yeah it? <laughs> feels like it's about to collapse on us at any moment so we have just driven a little bit further south west of the hotel and it's just taken about an hour because there's a lot of traffic but we are basically near some massive cliffs. We've driven to Los Gigantes and it was very busy down by the harbour so we probably wouldn't recommend going down there because it was lots and lots of people. But we've walked a little bit further along the coast to the natural pool which is just behind me and um, it is a beautiful view here of the cliffs and uh, the coast from here is very very nice and the big cliffs are just on that side. just gone back from a morning exploring the island and we're back here at the hotel we're just about to do a I think it's like a cooking class we're going to be making a oh, sauce yes. so we're going to learn all about how to make it and see if it tastes any good So we've just made the sauce and it's a moho sauce, so it's a traditional sauce made with peppers and garlic, olive oil, lots of lovely things and it tastes really good. We're eating it with um, traditional Canarian potatoes, which are like salted potatoes with the skin on. Very good. And we're now trying it also with some cheese. <laughs> Good morning everybody. We have made it to Mount Teide National Park 
which is about an hour's drive from where we are staying in Costa Adeji or Adeje, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but we have just started one of the most beautiful walks here in the National Park. It's called Rocks de Garcia, I think. And look how cool it is. We've got loads of just like rocks just standing up defying gravity and we've got amazing weather as well there's a bit of clouds but the sun's come out for a little bit and it's quite quite chilly up here so we're glad we've brought jumpers and uh, I've got my leggings on as well and the main attraction of the park is Mount Tado which is just behind me here which is a volcano you can get a cable car up there um, but it does close during strong winds so I'm not sure if it's running today it's quite busy we got up quite late this morning so I would recommend either getting here a bit earlier in the morning or maybe a little bit later around sunset time um, so maybe we'll come back when it's a little bit quieter for sunset but it's still re beautiful regardless so we've only been walking for like 10 minutes or so but it feels like out of this world the landscape here feels like you're on Mars or something the color of the rocks are like this beautiful red and they're all just like jarring out of the ground it's just so beautiful the trails here are really easily marked as well so it's very um, straightforward to find your way around and compared to Lanzarote the landscape here is so different even though it's a very volcanic landscape it's just very unique So we did a little bit of research before coming on this walk and even though it is quite busy um, once you stop and you can get a little bit of space to yourself as well so you, you do get a bit of silence in nature and there's quite a few other trails as well that we're going to see maybe we'll do later but one of the things that was recommended was to go anti-clockwise and we're really glad we did actually because as photographers as well the sun is facing this way so it's lighting all the rocks up in front of us so if we were going the other way around all the rocks would be basically uh, big shadows and um, it just makes you really appreciate it so I would recommend do it anti-clockwise and uh, yeah beautiful views of Mount Taylor I don't think the cable car's running today because it is windy and we've not seen any go so So as you're walking along you can see like where the lava is right behind the right next to the trail and this bit here is so cool because you can actually see the shape of the lava as well and I was just saying to John it looks like a massive cow pad. We've just started walking down now um, to the kind of valley floor and there's this big bit of lava just behind me here which looks like a, almost like a waterfall it's just coming through rocks either side which is pretty cool good morning everybody we are just packing up and getting ready to leave and we are actually heading to the north of the island this morning which is gonna be really fun but we're gonna put the cameras down and we're gonna actually have a little bit of a holiday which we haven't done for three years we've been filming for the last three years so it's gonna be really nice just to relax we're still gonna be exploring lots of new places so don't forget to check out our website guys because we also write all about it there and uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.